knocking. We're going to put down their visors. Got some uh, instructions there about the the crew hands-off point that we had talked about earlier. It's a point where we don't want the, the crew issuing any commands to the vehicle. It's about uh, just about two meters away from the docking adapter. I believe the number is about 1.7 meters. Station Houston on Big Loop. Houston and Station are now go for docking. Chris, you can monitor the first steps three and four, three and four, and one decimal one zero four. Crew Dragon approach and retreat monitor. Okay, I'm the big loop. Our visors are down. Copy visors down. With the crew confirming their visors down, we should see the final approach resume. Copy and we're going to be racing that sunset. The approach has resumed. Dragon closing in. We're inside 20 meters. And yeah, that, that crew hands off point uh, should come up in about three minutes or so. Uh, right before we get that final document, it comes about 20 seconds prior. We're just about two meters away from the station still. And that's uh, just the crew not issuing any abort commands. At that point, it would be uh, too late. And so any aborts would be executed automatically by Dragon itself. So we're closing in at less than a tenth of a meter per second at this point. You can see the service section Draco is just doing all these very small minor attitude corrections. Really, the autonomous docking system at work, making sure that the the uh, vestibule and the soft capture system is lined up with IDA2, the international docking adapter. You can, you can see, see much more clearly, clearly there the hinge, hinge mechanism for the nose cone. Those four uh, black circles are the four bulkhead dracos not to be used at this time. And then of course the, the pedals of the soft capture system. Wow. Dragon on the big loop, we're inside 10 meters. We cannot make out the docking target, but we can see the outline. We copy and anchor 10 meters. All right, we're less than 10 meters away. Again, we're closing at that rate of less than a tenth of a meter per second. We should be just about 1 minute 45 seconds away from docking. There is a uh, center line camera right in that middle so that you can see where the forward hatch is. Uh, right in the middle of that, there's a window, there's a center line camera that is aligned with the center of the vehicle and the center of the docking mechanism. So that is, is what the autonomous docking system is using to line up with uh, sort of a cross hatch, um, cross target on the, the docking port. Again, the forward docking port um, on PMA2 or the pressurized meeting. Adapter. And we are just five meters away. Again, we're racing that sunset. This dragon continues to close four meters to go. The shadows of the of the space station on the vehicle. Yeah, you can actually see the center line camera pretty clearly there, uh, sort of with the contrast of the sun right now. Three meters to go. Two meters.
where inside the hands-off point, the chop the crew hands-off point, one meter to go. Soft capture complete. Soft capture confirmed. Stand by for retraction and docking. Bye. And we just heard it soft capture. We have docking that coming at 7.16 a.m. Pacific time with the station and Dragon flying 262 statute miles right over the border between northern China and Mongolia. You saw a little bit of motion there uh, of Dragon as that relative motion that the soft capture system is damping out. Once that motion is, is clear, then uh, the soft capture system will be retract, retracted and uh, Dragon will go for hard capture. Again, if just now tuning in, that soft capture, that docking coming 7.16 a.m. Pacific, 10.16 a.m. over on the East Coast, Dragon and the International Space Station were flying 262 statute miles right over the border between northern China and Mongolia. So that soft capture we're now going to retract. It's one more step on the way to docking complete. Yeah, so the, the next step here is once, once the soft capture ring is retracted, there are uh, 12 latches that we refer to as hard capture latches, uh, those are what will really create that pressure tight seal between the Dragon spacecraft and the International Space Station. So once soft capture is complete, and uh, I believe we'll get that call from, from our core here, Anna, then uh, we'll, get, we'll get confirmation of hard capture. And uh, the crew, of course, aboard have, have this information on their displays. So they'll also see the indication of our capture complete. And uh, once those two steps are done, then that's, that's docking complete. That's right. We're, we're expecting to hear some words from everybody. A pretty monumental moment. I mean, for Doug Hurley, he's returning to where he last docked uh, almost nine years ago on the very last space shuttle mission, uh, now commanding the very first commercial spacecraft to deliver astronauts to the International Space Station. That's, that's, that's got to be cool, cool for them. them. Uh, they've they've met their families, families too, watching this. It looks, looks like we, we have, have another quick handover. We'll, we'll get, get that video, video back shortly. We're about 75% complete already with, uh, between the Dragon spacecraft and the International Space Station. Space Station. Uh, the, cat, the volume between, which we refer to as the vestibule, is currently not pressurized. Um, of course, it was just exposed to the vacuum of space until uh, literally minutes ago, about four minutes ago. So, um, just waiting for the vehicle to get that. Alright, so we, we see those ready to hook indicators are lighting up green. So we should be just about to step into uh, those 12 bucks beginning to engage uh, to get that secure mate between Dragon and the International Docking Adapter on the space station. After onboard the station, and then we'll get the hatches open. After complete, stand by for docking completion. McGregor and Kennedy Space Center. Their incredible efforts over the last several years to make it possible to not go overstated. So I'd like to thank Kathy Leaders and her team of the Commercial Crew Program of NASA and an outstanding job by everyone. Okay, thank you, Chris. Thank you, Chris. Hey, David, this is Houston. Bob and Dad, welcome to the International Space Station. Bob and Dad, welcome to the International Space Station. 
Uh, if you're spectacular, spectacular Rodney, Rodney,